Hey guys, Charlie the Plumber. Welcome back to the channel. I uh, appreciate every, everyone coming back. Uh, today we're going to take you down. We're getting ready to put on a wild game dinner this weekend for the Lions Club. We're about 35 or 40 people strong, so we're not a big club. Uh, but this is one of our big fundraisers. Basically what we got going on this weekend is we've got a 200 person wild game dinner we're putting on. Tonight we're doing the prep cook. Uh, I've got about, uh, I don't know, 15, hopefully about 15 people come down, husband and wives. And we're going to take you down tonight. I'm going to show you the prizes I bought. I'm going to show you some of the different ways that we do things with ra bucket raffles. And obviously we do the gun blitz. I'll probably get two videos out of this. Tonight we'll do some of the prep cooking, what we're doing. Uh, I've got the menu here with me, some other stuff with me. It is a fundraiser, so obviously we're trying to get as much money as we possibly can. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, we got about 200 people coming. We've got about 20 workers that will be there. Uh, we do have uh, about seven bus boys that we, we get. They're local kids that come in. Um, bartenders all that good stuff so tonight's our prep night we're doing some prep cooking tonight we're going to get some of the hall set up but Saturday morning we're going to have pretty much everyone here this event we basically we it's one of our larger fundraisers we use it to help Lear Dog of the Blind we have about six or eight charities that we that we do we got some local uh, scholarship funds that we do with the local high school kids we, we give away some of them uh, obviously leader dog we've got you know various charities that the that the Lions Club will take care of so first thing that we do we do a couple of different things as, as raffles we do a basically what they call a gun blitz ten dollar and twenty dollar ticket we basically after we sell a deck of 52 cards we'll give away that gun and then what happens is is once we get these cards and we sell that deck of cards they'll bring me the bucket and say okay you know we've sold a ten dollar card or twenty dollar card what i'll do then play some games with them you know make them laugh make them have a good time and so i'll say okay everyone's got a 10 stand up well, okay if you got a 10 of hearts everyone will get excited you lost sit down so just something to, to keep these guys on edge keep them going because we sell about 20 roughly 20 guns a night so it's something that you can't just do, hey, it's a 10 of hearts you want. You know, you, you, wanna, you wanna make it fun for everyone that's here. So our next thing, we have bucket raffles. We used to do the rolls of raffle tickets. We buy 20,000 raffle tickets and we give an arm length. This is our uh, thing that we went to. These tickets are all the same number. So we've got a sheet of 25 tickets. It's got the same number on it. So let's say they spend you know, 100 bucks, they buy five sheets of tickets at 20 bucks a throw. They look at five tickets. Oh, I got five tickets, 82495. I don't have it. Or, hey, I got it. Uh, I rely mainly on friends and family and club members to run an event successfully here. Every year we try to do something different. Our dinner is, is $60 a ticket, premium bar. It's an open bar. We're, we're not charging extra for, for bar tickets. Maybe we should, but we don't. That way, we've got 19 tables at 10. It's sold out every year. We're giving them a good meal, um, a good price, good friends, good atmosphere. We get them in, we start our event at four o'clock, and then we start serving hors d'oeuvres at four. We do dinner at six o'clock sharp. Um, we have 19 tables. Who gets to go first? We take a, a fishing bobber, I throw them into a bucket, I walk around, I stir them up real good, and I let Mary or Susie or John or Pete or whoever pick the number. We do it so that everyone gets a chance to do their, their own stuff. You know, we're, we're just giving you a good time, a good dinner, good friends, good family, and a lot of fun. So basically, with the next couple of days, we'll go through and I'm going to video some of the prep cooking, what we do. I'll, I'll get the menu out there so you can see that. Okay, so I got the magical menu for 2020. We've got a prime rib with horseradish. We do 130 pounds of prime rib. We do do some of our own venison. We do a corn venison. Uh, it's kind of like corned beef, but it's with hindquarters of venison. Uh, we're doing some elk enchiladas, bourbon smoked pulled pork, Polish sausage and kraut, wild boar from that farmer uptown, uh, breaded bluegill. 
and then we do a mashed potato. On the hors d'oeuvres this year, we've got uh, a spicy antelope sausage, cheese and crackers. We do a corned venison heart. So you get shoot that deer and, and give it to mom, and mom either pickles it or corns it. Marinated herring. We do a, a Cajun wings, obviously just a chicken wing as a filler. Some people bring their wives. Wives don't like that stuff. So you have to have a little bit of, of uh, variety. We do a Parmesan gator bite. Deviled eggs, we do a deviled egg and we do a smoked deviled egg. People love them. Stuffed mushrooms with an andouille sausage. And then we got a, a jalapeno popper. We've got smoked white fish that we get from the UP up in uh, the UP in Michigan. But uh, this is the start. We'll get a couple more videos out of it, show you some more stuff. Come on along with us. Hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Check out the other videos and come on along. I'll show you the rest of the weekend. I'll show you the prep stuff tonight. Mushrooms. I've been standing here for 45 minutes watching two off of mushrooms. These will be stuffed. Put them in this little tray here, let them dry, then I'll fill them up with uh, cream cheese, I believe in really sausage, and maybe some bacon. Everything's better with bacon. Yesterday was Thursday. We did the prep cooking last night. Uh, today I've pretty much been running around chicken with my head cut off. Today looking, getting, picking up small stuff and you know getting last minute things done and doing the shirts and sweatshirts and yada yada yada. Um, but we're at the club right now. It's uh, oh I don't know it's about almost five o'clock. We're getting ready to head out of here tonight. You can see that we've got some gifts and, and uh, some of our stuff set up. We'll get a better a better view of what we got going on tomorrow, but a lot of work. I mean, it sure is, but uh, it's it's pretty gratifying. Uh, after the event tomorrow, we'll be here at eight o'clock in the morning. We don't usually get out of here about 11 p.m. So we go like heck all day long, 14, 15, 16 hours, and and uh, it's a it's a great event. Uh, we do very well for the Lions Club here that that I belong to which is uh, north of Detroit, Michigan, and, and it's good for the charity. So tomorrow we'll get you some other pictures of kind of a, a final run. Um, gonna have my kid hopefully try to fly the drone in here after we get all set up. So we don't uh, see if we can't get it caught in the ceiling fan or something like that. We'll see how good he is. But uh, kind of show you the overview of everything we got going on. Again, I appreciate everyone stopping into the channel. Uh, great to have everyone. Uh, we're, we're getting closer to a thousand. Love to hit that in the next couple of months. Um, but uh, love to have everyone tune in. Share it with your family and friends. Hey, check this guy out. He does a lot of cool stuff. Uh, maybe they got some ideas. You want me to do something? I'm game for anything. You know, snowmobiling. We're getting ready to go boating. Um, we're going to do some boat videos. Uh, uh, the wife has, has authorized me a check to go look for a look for a new uh, a new old boat this summer. So we're going to do some boat shopping here in the next couple of months. We're going to be going to Moline, Illinois, to check one out here in the next uh, week or so. So maybe we'll take you along for that trip. But stick around tomorrow. We'll have a group of people in here try to get some still shots and some time lapse shots and uh, show you what's happening. So thanks for coming. Come on along tomorrow. See you then.